It's your boy D Will. I'm um, back at it again. Another episode of the D Will Show. Um, today I'm gonna be talking a little little NBA uh, with my co-host, my new co-host Jermaine High Rise Brown. Uh, we gonna talk it off for y'all. Yo, what up, man? Y'all got in here quick. Lauren, Demontre, Imani, Cuz, Shaquayla, what up, y'all? My guy. What up? What's up, bro? You can hear me good? Yeah, I get I, I can hear me? Yeah, my cousin told me my audio is off. Yeah, I can hear you. You good? Yes, sir. Man, brody, how you feeling? Man, Appreciate I'm you good. joining me. I'm good. You know, it's always love, man. I'm enjoying this, this warm Chicago weather. <laughs> oh, for sure. You know, you know. Uh, for y'all that's tuned in, if y'all don't know, this is my big bro. This is my new co-host to D Will Show, Jermaine High Rise Brown. Yes, sir. Um, we, met, we met through my family, Mimi. Um, she connected us, and uh, me and JB been like locked in ever, ever since, man. So, welcome, JB, man, my guy. Appreciate, it. Hey, always, man. You know when you need me, I'm, I'm here for you, man. I like, I love what you're doing. So I'm, all, I'm always here. For sure, my dog, man. I appreciate you, man, JB, bro. We got a lot to talk about, man. Hey, I know we be, I, I, we be texting, you know, um, every other day, you know what I mean? You hit me up. But, man, bro, I want to talk about this whole Kyrie Kyrie thing. How do, you, how do you feel about it? You know what I mean? We ain't going to get too deep into it because I know that's kind of a touchy um, touchy subject. But, you know, what, what's your whole take on the whole Kyrie Irving situation? Let me move my computer. Well, with the Kyrie thing is – is is two sides with the basketball with the basketball side you want to see him play because Kyrie is as you know he's when he's playing he's top 10 easily mm -hmm. but i'm i'm on the side where there's life outside of basketball and you know there's there's yeah. things that's bigger than basketball you know and and that's that's like that and Kyrie is like that and and we don't have to go into, you know, yeah. depth about it. But from a basketball side, you want to see him playing. You know what I'm saying? Because you see you see how the Nets are struggling and, and KD is actually, I don't want to say by himself, but he's really by himself. And you put Kyrie out there with him, it, it helps. But, yeah. like, but I have, I have this conversation with other people as far as, like, basketball is – you can only play it for 10, 15 years, 20 years if you're lucky. Good, after, good, good years, though. Good years. Good years. After that, what, well, you know, what, what do you have? So I think that's what Kyrie is looking at. And, again, I want to see him on the court. I, I love watching him play, but I'm, I'm at the mindset of, you know, what you do in your personal life is your personal life. You know, yeah. we can does somebody what they do in their personal life because you don't know what but do you feel do you feel for Kyrie it's like a I mean we've known Kyrie to be in headlines for you know the last few years do you think they're really trying to really prove a point now it's like dude like it's no almost question. to a point where I feel like they're trying to mute how he feel you know what I mean like he, no they really question. trying to really question his character we all know Kyrie's not that type of dude you know what I mean no question, and that's and that's why I love Kyrie, and they paint him as this bad person. He really not, and what makes it so weird that the uh, the owner of the Nets was like, you know, we don't condone this, and then he said he had a conversation with Kyrie and said, oh, he's not like that. Well, he, you know this, we we all know this, so like, why is it now? And and I know why it's an issue now. But at the same time, there's no way that man should be suspended. They said five games. He's supposed to play in that Laker game. He should not be losing money. 
that's why I'm at with it. I, like I said, I love Kyrie. I love what he stands for. I just want to see him on the basketball court. If you don't want to play no for more, sure. I can totally respect that. But for sure, I do want to see him back on the basketball court. For sure, I think they said he's gonna play uh, this weekend. Yeah, they play. They play Memphis, but I, that kind of that kind of lead into my next one too with the whole <laughs> KD throwing his Memphis. team under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> that matchup with Ja, I hope you're ready for it, man. Oh my God, Ja's different. I hope you're ready for it. that. He is man, um, but my next one for you, JB, is how do you feel about the whole KD, the whole KD comments? I know me and you text already we, we before we about going. this. Yeah, I, how you, how you feel about that, man? Are you if that was you, if KD was your teammate, he came out, he pretty much threw you under the bus like that. You know, how would you feel? And you know, what I mean, like. The whole situation in Brooklyn, like, how do you feel about that whole overall situation? Well, I don't, under, I don't think he threw him under the bus. I think, it, I think it, it looked bad. I mean, if you look at that lineup, and and don't get me wrong, those guys in the NBA can play, but that lineup is not built for him to win or win a championship. In my mm -hmm. person, like I love Royce O'Neal. I love what he do. But I don't yeah. look at it as a second option or third option. Like that that role he played in Utah was perfect, but now you put him on on the net. So now he has to be the second option. Yeah, and you know they they banking on Joe Harris, and I'm sorry, Joe Harris ain't made a three since he in the past three years. I'm sorry, they keep talking about. <laughs> But bro, he has made a three in like three years, and yeah. I get it. He came off ankle surgery, but even before that, he wasn't making threes. But he doesn't yeah. really AD because he doesn't spread the floor, which he's which he's supposed to do. That's the whole point. Because KD is gonna garner a double team, triple team. That happened against. It happened against the the Kings. It, pretty much it happened against everybody they've been playing against. They're going to they gonna double KD. It's just up to those guys to make the shots. And I'm not a coach, but I, I think Jacques Vaughn should put Ben Simmons and, and Curry in the lineup. That's just For my sure. opinion. That's just For my sure. it, it I think it opens it, everything up for KD. And, I, and, and we talked about this before the season. Ben doesn't have to be that 18 to 20 point score on that team. He could be that facilitator where he could get to the basket. If he gets to the basket, he can either make the layup, he's gonna dunk it, or he's gonna dish it off. And that's which which he wants to do. Yeah. So I I I know he's still hurt. I think he he still needs to get back right, but I think putting him in the lineup will at least help him, and I think it will help his confidence. And I, I think agree. Help it, it give KD a little bit of help. Yeah, why they don't put him at the four man? You know what I mean? Let him right. let him play the four man. Let him let him guard let, the inside the paint. Let him get yep. the rebound and let him go. Let him transition. Let him. He can pass the ball. He can take it, but he got to be willing to make them damn free throws, JV. And that too, and, and I just look. You I gotta just make the free throws. I just saw one of the comments. His IQ alone makes that team better, and I totally agree because, again, you put KD, Kyrie. Okay, we'll throw Joe Harris in there. Curry, those are four scores. He can get. He gonna. He gonna. He gonna. He gonna get a triple double, easily. Yeah. It doesn't. Right. You. You don't need him to be that 20-point, 20 25-point score, he could be that facilitator that almost like that Draymond Green type and help that team. That's just my opinion. But nice. I, it's going to take some time. You know, everybody's saying, you know, they're 6 and 9. Hey, go that stay. team just not <laughs> it, man. They don't have enough. They don't have enough. They, they just... They're 6 and 9 as well. They're 6 and 9. Uh, the uh, the Heat is struggling. The Bulls are struggling. So it's it's early. So yeah, we'll like my cousin say, KD from the mess around to get traded. Like hey, that's a what? good point, Demontre. 
And you know what? You texted me that and told me that too, JV. You know what? I'm glad he mentioned that. So I don't want to start nothing, but I think with them bring getting KD back, I think they talked to him and said, you know, if things don't work out, we'll trade you to wherever you want to go. That's just my opinion. Yeah. I think it may have definitely blew him some smoke. They definitely did. Oh yeah, no question. Definitely, definitely. I don't know, man. If I'm if I'm KD, I'm going to what's it, Sean Marks, right? Sean Marks, yeah. Jump Sean I'm Marks. Going to him, but like, look, everybody except for Ben and Kyrie is tradable. Figure it out. Give me everybody. who I need. I would go uh, get. I would JB. I would go get Jay Crowder. I, I would agree. go get Jay Crowder. That can be your three and D guy. Put him out yep. there with Ben. He's tough. Give me some more shooters. Give me oh, somebody yeah. off the bench. Yep, I will play Morris as well. Oh, I, will... I forgot that they're not even playing him. Exactly. So, and to be honest, they should have picked up Dwight Howard just for that size. They they need some size. They need someone to rebound. They need they need that inside presence. Like I love Clyson. Clyson yeah. is well this year. I love him, but I think. When he gets in foul trouble, they struggle because then they got to play Ben at the five, and then he gets in foul trouble. Then KD yeah. has to guard four and fives. Then it's, it's, it's tough for him because, you know, you don't want him to guard, you know, bigs. So Yeah, you don't want KD to do it all, man. He can't, he can't do it all, man. He's doing it all. He's doing it all right. So let me ask you this too, JB. Did you feel like at one point that Steve Nash was the – you know how everybody was putting the blame on the coach. Do you really think Steve Nash wasn't able to coach that team how they should have been, the whole, you know, he doesn't have a resume? Or do you just think it's just how they play? They just – they're just not playing well. It's hard because you say he doesn't have a resume, but then you put Steve Kerr with the Warriors and they win. Yeah. It's it's tough because but Steve Kerr was on the pot for a long time. Exactly. So that that's why I was getting that. And I think Nash is he didn't have that pedigree as far as like I can coach I can coach and I I'm a I'm a leader of men because I think everybody looked at him as just one of the guys, and that's how the guys in the league look at it. Even though he has played in the league. They look at him as, oh, he's one of the guys. I'm not looking at him like like a Pop or Phil Jackson yeah. or, you know, a Doc Rivers. They look at him like, yeah. oh, he tell me whatever. I'm going to do the opposite. And to be yeah. honest, he lost, he, lost the, he lost the locker room. And to be honest, when he first got the job, I, I understood. But I was like, not this team. Because they was too loaded to not have a – a coach that was like battle ready or championship ready to take them to the next mm -hmm. level. You put somebody like, you know, Mark Jackson, uh, oh. you know, a, a, a championship pedigree coach that can, that can lead them and will hold them accountable. I think they needed that. Yeah. And Kyrie and Katie said it, it was like, well, we don't need a coach. And that just yeah. makes it worse. <laughs> That may, and they, I think the whole, I don't want to, you know, I'm just going to say, it. I think Kyrie had this whole mindset of he think he's a better player than Steve Nash. So what are you to tell me? You know what I mean? How to, how to run, how to hoop, how to play ball. Right. I don't know, right. man. I love, I love Kyrie, man, but the way he, he operates sometime up here, bro, I don't. He's different, bro. He's different. He's very different. He's, he's very, very different. <laughs> um, And then they lose to what, 50 by 50 to Sacramento? The other Sac night, that was, that was an ass over. Sacramento is good. Sacramento is going to yeah. be a sleeper. Uh, I can see them being a playing team, get in mm -hmm. playoff maybe if they if they stay the course. I like yeah. um, Sabonis and 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 oh my god, the point guard's name. Oh my god, who I'm, Murray? Oh Fox. I'm drawing a blank. The point uh, De'Aaron. Yes. Yeah, De'Aaron Fox. Yep. And then uh, the the rookie, Murray. He, Murray's going to be good for them. He's going to be good. So you know I, what I'm I, starting to realize, JB? I think this whole league is really turning into a young league now. 
You don't really oh. see too many dominant. Like, go to state, not looking well. But you see all the young teams with the Sacramento, the Oklahoma, the Memphis, the no question. Utahs. Like, I think the game is really starting to transition out of that. You know what I mean? Oh, I can play 20, 15 years and do good. These young dudes, they out for it, JB. No question. They out for it. And it was funny. I was listening to a podcast, and he was talking about how there's not enough veterans to, you know, teach the young guys. But – like you said, it's a young man's league now. Like, they don't look at it as, um, you know, we don't need a veteran. We don't need that guy. Like, you know, Miami still has uh, Udonis Haslam on his team. But I look at it like he's taking a spot away from, you know, a young guy. He could be a, he could be a, a coach, you know. John ja Morant is good. Yeah, John ja Morant tough. John ja Morant, oh, my God. I'm a is different. Yeah. I'm, but yeah, I think I think you don't need to be like a assistant man or a um exactly. not a not a player development, but like a uh I he don't can, know, just the voice just like the voice of that team, man. But I don't think he needs to be, you know, on the roster. You know, give that spot to somebody that, that deserves it. You know what I'm saying? Not Mello. to say Mello. <laughs> Ooh, Mel I, Melo should be on somebody's team right now. We ain't going to talk about that. <laughs> no, baby, I'm, I'm going to get in my feelings about that one. I know. Can't do that one. Because he, he was supposed to go to Brooklyn, for what I heard. Brooklyn, he was talking about Boston. They were talking about L.A., yep. uh, Miami. Oh. I'm like, yeah. yeah, Golden State, man. Phoenix, they were talking about the whole Jay Crowder thing. Yeah. Jay Crowder's doing my med. Right now, I don't understand why Phoenix don't – can't use them, but you know, like I said, this this is the NBA, and like you said, this is a young man's league. Pump said, "Best need to be on every team for sure." EJ, for sure. Hey, exactly. for hey, sure. hey shout out to nephew. Hey, he gonna be a problem at St. Pat's. Oh yeah, for sure. Ooh, EJ gonna be tough. He is um, tough. oh man, JB, the Lakers, man. Too much going oh, on. Talk about it. Let's talk about it. Hey, and my man, my man, my man Marlon is on here, so I know we want to talk about it. So come on, let's talk about it. Let's talk about these Lakers. Man, it's all over the place, JB. You got the AD can't stay healthy. Mm -hmm. Russ, Russ doesn't feel wanted or he doesn't look good. Okay. Ron is trying to carry the load for too long. Okay. Ron get hurt. Then eight, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just too much going on. What do you think is the real issue going on in LA? Is it, is it the coaching staff? Is it uh, Rob Palinka and Jenny Bus not making the right moves? What, what, man? What's going on in LA, man? LA town. What's going on out there? You think? All of the above. But one, let's, <laughs> let's start with the moves. Let's start with the moves. Let's be honest. I love I love Russell Westbrook. I've been a fan of his since he was at UCLA. That wasn't a good fit for him and LeBron, in my opinion, because as you know, Russ been been the primary point guard ever since he played basketball. Mm -hmm. LeBron is a primary quote unquote point guard. So. Yeah. You take the ball away from one of them two. Now you got to make them a shooter. Now LeBron yep. ball up. Now Le now Westbrook has to be in the corner. He has to be a spot up shooter. That's not his job. That's not what he do. That's mm -hmm. not what you make him. That's not his. You know his forte. His game. That's not his yeah. game. Like you take you making him not worthy or or, or pretty much worthless. So. I think Darvin Ham putting him, having him come off the bench actually helps him to where now he's he's the, the leader of the second squad. He's averaging almost a triple double coming off the bench. And I yeah. would love if I would love for the Lakers to actually do well for him to win six man of the year. Cause that would oh, be incredible. Sure. Cause once for sure. at, at first I thought it wasn't gonna work, but him, him coming off that bench definitely gives him a different 
mindset. So I think the moves is one. I think them not bringing back Caruso. I think, Dummies, man. Yeah. I think not signing DeRozan. I think not make, pulling that trigger on Buddy Hill and Miles Turner, even though I, that moves the needle, but it, at least it helps. It yeah. takes the pressure off. Because, again, you're a LeBron fan. You know this. LeBron, <laughs> needs, you know this. LeBron needs shooters around. Him. Mm -hmm. That's you play around his strengths. Yeah. You get you get LeBron the ball up up top. Let him penetrate. Either he's gonna dunk on you or he's gonna find an open man. He gonna find an open yeah. shooter. Cal Corver, J.R. Smith, uh, Della Badova, Kyrie. I mean, we can go. We can go on for days. Uh, Mike Miller. Channing, well, he had Ch Channing Fry, Richard Jefferson. Fry, yeah. guys like that. You need. He needs those shooters to actually spread the floor for him, so he can get to the basket. Because nobody's gonna stop LeBron when he gets to the basket. But, like he 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 dropped that shoulder. It's a wrap. Even yeah. at seven, he's still gonna do what he's doing. He might not be jumping. Yeah. And I have a forty. He got a 40, 46 in vertical now. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? He needs, but you gonna you gonna you gonna feel that two fifty though, JV? Oh no question, no question. I don't want to two sixty. You gonna feel that for sure? No question. <laughs> but he he needs those shoes. I think the Lakers is doing him a disservice, especially this year when he's about to break the record. And I would like to see them at least be you know winning him to break that record and a lot yeah. of people give him a lot of credit for breaking that record i mean for a guy that wasn't supposed to be a quote-unquote score mm -hmm. i mean it goes back to me, he's playing 20 years and averaging he's been averaging 20 since he got in the league for him to do that is impressive i didn't think that record would be broken to be honest At all, ever, ever. i didn't think it was gonna happen but I will want I want them to be winning so this this season just don't out oh all right just the record I want them at least to be winning and that's what the Lakers about they all about winning championships like Kobe said they don't they don't hang conference championships <laughs> they they hang championships man. so yeah that so hopefully hopefully they get it together I think they're trying to make something big happen it's all the Lakers <laughs> always. Special, so you never know. But they waiting too long on that Buddy Hill to Miles Turner deal now, JV. Hey, I don't know. You remember? You remember? They when over you... there hoping now, man. Them two draft picks ain't gonna be enough now. Hey, you remember when they're Kobe? Like, got... They gonna have to move. Kobe got pile. You never know. But if you got eighty and Russell on your roster still, JV, you gonna have to move one of them. <laughs> you gonna have to. You gonna I, have to I give up. I would give up Russ. I wouldn't give up AD for Buddy Hill and Miles Turner. Now, if this are you talking about KD or Bradley Bill, all right, then we can have a, uh, a, a conversation. But yeah. I can give up AD for Buddy Hill or or Miles Turner. No disrespect. Yeah. No, I get you. If, if AD like that game he had against Brooklyn the other night, JB. If AD can get back to that AD, I think they'll be all right. You know what I mean? Yes. That's all they was. That's all they was missing was that AD. That can stay healthy. That can put up thirty-seven and eighteen or whatever it was, man. That's AD. If they can get back to that, that's the AD that that was they was comparing to Giannis, and they was like, okay, this dude is better than Giannis because he can do this, and that that, that game was why. So yeah. hopefully it, it be consistent, but they definitely definitely need that definitely. For sure, okay. JB, do you think Luca will win MVP this year? The way Luca is hooping, the numbers he's putting up. I mean, I can't really. Maybe Giannis, maybe. Um, oh, I really Giannis. can't see nobody else in front of Luca right now. The way Luca is hooping. He's in. Maybe a, JT. Maybe a, JT. Maybe. He's in there. I mean, I got five people that I think that could win it. Uh, obviously, you could throw Luca in there. You got Giannis. You got Ja. 
Um, KD is playing at an all-time level. Even what they doing, he's. I mean, he's averaging thirty coming off an Achilles injury. So we got to give him props for that. And he's thirty-four years old. Um, that uh, you still got to throw in Joker. JT. Oh, forgot about Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum is in there as well. So you could throw Luke in if Luke can keep those numbers and they're winning. You got you got to give them the MVP, but I think it's still some some guys that that may jump them, and I think if Giannis keep doing what he's doing, he might have three he might have three MVPs. Let me let me see what the what they got for the MVP ladder right now. Um, That man is hard to guard. So as of as of right now, JB, they have they have Greek as number one. Okay. Luca number two. Mm-hmm. Donovan Mitchell at number three. Oh. Ja at number four. Ooh. Oh hell oh. no. Nah. Oh hell no. Nah. They got Devin Booker at number five. <laughs> really? This, um NBA.com or <laughs> this yeah, this is NBA.com. Oh wow, okay. Um Yeah, whoever wrote this need to be drug tested immediately. All right. Uh I wouldn't put Donovan Mitchell over over Ja. I wouldn't put Donovan Mitchell over Ja. I think Ja would be number three. Yeah. Even though Donovan Mitchell is playing well, that was a good move for Cleveland. Even if everybody was expecting him to go to New York. I think that's a good move for him. He needed he needed that squad. I think that, that squad is gonna be dangerous, especially in the playoffs. Um, but yeah, I, I would put Ja at three for sure. Maybe, oh yeah, I'm gonna keep him at three because Giannis, Giannis, and, and Luca is something different. Yeah, I'm I'm not mad at Giannis the way Giannis has been hooping without his his Robin. Exactly, exactly. If Middleton got- come back. If Middleton can come back and get right into the groove of things, bro. I think I think Milwaukee gonna win again, bro. You gotta throw that in there too. Middleton is still out. And he's still, and and I think J- uh, Drew Holiday is out. Mm-hmm. He still he's uh, he's still playing at a house. That dude is different. I'm I'm sorry. Giannis, that, that man, guy, bro. Giannis is so different, man. And and it's funny, like I heard about you know I heard what Gilbert Arena said about him. He don't have the skill set and he doesn't work on his body, which is nonsense. Like you don't win. Back to back MVPs and not skill set or basketball IQ or win a championship. Mm-hmm. And for him to say he don't work on his body, just look at him when he first came into the league. The kid was six six nine one ninety, if that. Yeah. Now the man is six eleven two fifty, and you still mm-hmm. can. Stop. So, and you know what he's gonna do though, JB. Like that's the whole point. And that's the one thing. And I was talking to somebody about this. I, I kind of compare him to um, uh, uh, Cam Newton. So when Cam Newton used to get touchdowns, guys used to complain about him, you know, celebrating when he get a mm-hmm. touchdown. So he, in an interview, he said, well, if you want to shut me up, stop me from doing it. Yeah. And with Giannis, like, if, if I know I can, I can get to the basket at will, why would I just settle and pull up for a three or 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 mid range? Now, would it would it help his game? Yes, but if I know I can get to this basket at will and you can't stop it, I'm going to do it ten times out of ten. Now, you stop me from doing it, then I change it. Now, if Giannis gets a shot like KD, you might <laughs> like yo like yo the NBA will be over. So, oh, yo, so the NBA is lucky that he doesn't have a jump shot or he doesn't, you know, shoot eighty percent from the free throw line. If 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 that if that was the case, he'd be averaging forty. So, Easy. Forty fifteen and and <laughs> man <laughs> lucky. Um so JB, I know we kinda talked about it already, but your guy, Ben 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 Simmons, man, he's in headlines for Brooklyn is just not too 
what's the word I'm looking for? They're not too pleased with his play right now. You know what yeah. I mean? I know you said that he's still kind of dealing with injury. I think the mental is still um, of kind of bothering him. I think they're about to go play in Philly in a few days or whatever. Um, man, what, what's your take on Ben, bro? Like, I don't know. I, I love Ben. He's a hell of a player, man. But I think he needs to really – man, you are an all-star, bro. You got to figure it out. You know what I mean? Like, you got to work on your game. You got to really – you know what I'm saying? You are, what, number one pick, right? Yes. You got to figure yep. it out, man. You got to figure it out, bro. You're going to have to make something happen. With Ben, it's tough because he just came off injury. So, I mm-hmm. think he's going to feel his way back. Yeah. I understand that. But we as – well, we, we – you know, we watch basketball. I think the casual basketball fan that look at Ben Simmons, they look at him like he should be averaging – 20 points, 25 points. He should be getting 10 rebounds, 10 assists. He should be this type of player. But that's not Ben Simmons' game. He's not that quote-unquote score. Like, he's a guy that really, I'm a facilitator. If I can get to the basket, I'm going to dunk on you. I can get these easy points. That's what he do. Like, he gets 16 to 18 points. What made him uh, an all-star just off that. Like, it wasn't because he was, you know, killing people from mid-range or the three. That was just how he played. He just played out in a way the right way, if that makes mm-hmm. sense. Like, he just plays with, you know, he don't want to be that guy that averages third because he don't need to. Mm-hmm. He, when he, he, I mean, he got into the league, he playing with MB, so he doesn't have to be that – that that focal point. He 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 doesn't have to be that number one. So I don't want to say, you know, don't give up on him because he's a talent. I mean, you can't teach six ten two four oh, yeah. handle the ball. That guy's a basketball IQ. I think he's still trying to get back from that back injury and and no, me being knowing and having a back injury. I know how painful it is. And for someone that's mm-hmm. six. And 240, and me, I'm 6'5", 150 soaking wet. I already know how that feel with him. So I think eventually it will, he will come into his own. Like I said, I think he would definitely help that team because he doesn't have to be that, that first option, that second option. He could really be that Draymond Green type of player for Brooklyn if they get Kyrie back, if Curry is healthy, if Harris is healthy, and stuff like that. So, because I think he really can draw double teams, triple teams, to where he can kick it out to KD and Kyrie for open shots, and which makes it yeah. easy for them and easier for him because he can be in the dunker spot and he can just get dunks all the game. Yeah, but he got to be willing to make the free throws, though, JV. That's another thing. I think another- it's, it's, it's it's mental, bro. I think it's because the whole the whole media, everything Ben does, bro, is in the headlines. You know what I mean? And I can only imagine how that make you feel when every time you get online, you in the media for, you. okay, I airballed a free throw, or I missed a dunk, or I didn't take a dunk, or I missed 10 free throws. Man, I don't care if you miss 50 free throws. If you go up there and you finna dunk on somebody, I'd rather you be aggressive as hell so they know. All right, he gonna, you know what I mean? He gonna try. He ain't scared. Right. And it's funny. I remember Shaq said this. You know, Shaq mm-hmm. practice. He he knock him down. He was like, when the lights come on, he know he needs to make them. I get that, but I think with Ben, it's something really something like mental. Like he really doesn't want to go to that free throw line because I don't want to blame it on social media, but at the same time, it is like. Mm-hmm to shoot the ball, if he shoot a free throw and he shoot an air ball, it's going to be all over social media and people going to clown him. And it shouldn't be like that. Guys miss free throws. Guys miss. It happens. Michael Jordan missed free throws. Like, it happens. It's a, it's a part of the game. But with him, it's just they just magnified it even more just because it's him and he's not a shooter. He's not a scorer. And, it, and it's crazy yeah. because Nobody made fun of Dennis Rodman. Nobody, mm-hmm. nobody, 
Wallace because that that wasn't their game. They wasn't scores. Ben Simmons is not a dominant, I'm going to get 30 a night type of score. He's not a KD type of person. He's not like Giannis. He's not like Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. nah. He's a guy that I'm, I'm cool with getting 16, 10, and 8. But people don't, like I said, the casual fan won't because he's the number one pick. They want to look, they look at it like, oh, he should be averaging 30. He should be an all-star. He should be a Hall of Famer right now. He should be winning championships. And that and, and it doesn't work that way sometimes. So yeah. people give him a bad rap. I hope he, he gets out of it because I think he can really help that team. Like I said, I really think Jacques Vaughn should start him just to get, get his confidence up because bringing him off the bench, I think it is doing him a disservice. And, mm -hmm. and you know, a, a guy like that, all-star guy, and a young guy, you know how star means so much to a guy. Now, if he was an older mm -hmm. guy, I won't mean that much because, yo, I'm coming off the bench, but if I'm playing starter minutes and – I'm I'm gonna play at the end, then I'm good. But a young guy, he looks at it like, oh, the coach don't believe in me, so I'm not gonna give it my all. So I really think he should he should start him just so it can also take the ball handling the responsibility off KD as well. Mm -hmm. Cause they really Do make him like a backup center, and I don't like that at all. Especially from yeah. him. I've been a fan of his since he was in high school, and I'm like, this kid, I I'm didn't want to compare him to LeBron. I'm like, yo, he can mm -hmm. be because he had the same, like, the basketball IQ, his ball handling, his passing remind me so much of LeBron. I'm like, this dude, he can be special. And I think he still For sure. can. Uh. For sure. So I'm trying to I'm trying to think of how to word this. Um, I know you kind of hit it on the head already, but do you think it's because with the whole hype around Ben, how he came up, number one draft pick, the way he got his way out of Philly, you know what I mean? Do you think that's still a factor? Because I think if Ben was to be who he is, which is, okay, we know you're not a scorer, but if you can be aggressive, if you can show aggression, that'll make the game for Katie a lot easier. We're not telling you, we gotta, you got to knock down five threes a night. We're not telling you you got to make 15 free throws a night. But if you can get the ball and you could be aggressive and look at the rim and kick, that's all we can ask for, bro. Oh. That's all we can ask for. If you go if you go transition and you go down there and dunk on a the motherfucker, they're going to get out your I'm way. I'm not mad at that. They're going to get out your way. And they're going to be like, okay, now what are we going to do? Because now he's going to come to the rim. He's going to put fear in our heart. We got to get out of his way. Or he gonna kick it to a Joe Harris, to a Royce O'Neal, to a KD, to a Kyrie. Now you're making the game easier for KD. So now they gotta pick between them. Do I want KD to hit this three? Do I want Ben to dunk on me and change the whole momentum of the game? You know what I'm saying? So I think Ben, he really needs to. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it's the back. You know what I mean? In the mental hurt for sure, for yeah. sure. Because if, if Ben could just do that, I mean. Basketball is not that hard, man. You know what I mean? It's really not that hard. It's so simple. You know what I mean? So I think for him, it's really that injury and him really trying to really get back into the group of his game. Because I'm pretty sure what Doc Rivers and Joel Embiid and what they said played a toll on him. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? But you got to – you're in a new team. You're in a new area. Now you got to be willing to be like, okay, I got to do my part. I got to get this social media off me. I got to get that, whatever you want to call it. So I got to play my game. I got to play my role here in Brooklyn and do it well to get that light off of me. And this is a perfect situation for him. Like I said, like you have KD, score. Kyrie, score. Joe Harris, shooter. Curry, shooter. Mm -hmm. Neil, O'Neal, shooter. You got a, 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 a lob threat with, with Claxton. So all of these at your – disposal like this should be he should be leading the league in assists for sure for sure or, or at least close to it so like I said I think he I think he's still I think he's still injured in my opinion I think he still is because he doesn't look right but mm -hmm. move like I, I watched I watched the game against the Kings and I saw he actually was like you know trying to be aggressive and I saw I see it slowly coming back and I think eventually it will come back and I sure. say, it, it, what people forget, 
he's one of the best defenders as well. So that's really sure. good. So For I think sure. he's still injured, and I think people just need to give him some time. For sure. And I think kind of what you said earlier as far as, like, with the whole Dennis Rodman and Ben Wallace, I think for them, because they impacted the game in another way, defensively, but, rebounding, yeah. blocking shots, Ben, he got to do more of that. You know what I'm saying? He got to be really active on defense. He got to really be in crunch time. All right, bet I got Curry. Oh, I got LeBron. Or I got Ja. You know what I mean? You got to take those opportunities and really, you know what I mean, get that light off of you. You know what I'm saying? He, he can you be can't that. have all this hype and you're not doing it. Right. I agree. And he can be that because that one year, I think they gave the defensive player of the year to Rudy Gobert. It should have went to Ben Simmons. He was guarding point guards the whole year and was locking them. So he he has that ability. I just think, like I said, I think he's still injured, and I think people just need to give him some time. And playing York heightens everything, too. So, yeah. That's a part and of Kyrie, it. Kyrie bringing all that extra spotlight over there. The extra you, you know how it is in New York. Man. JB, what the hell is going on with Claw Man, bro? What is what is this dude doing, man? Oh my God, man! We talk about AD. I think Claw is past street clothes, man. They need to go and get that man a, a polo or something, man. Get behind the bench. God damn! I, I talked to my <laughs> one of my good friends. My, I don't know if he's still on here, but Marla, me and him had this conversation. Let me see why. In my opinion, I think he's I think he's a bit overrated. I mean, they... they I'm overrated, JV? Yes. I mean, he doesn't give me enough to tell me, like, yo, he's better than LeBron, KD, Luka. Mm -hmm. Like, all these guys. Like, when he plays, yes, he's good. But when you play 30 games, yes, he, yes, it looks good. <laughs> Of course. Now, but it's crazy, <laughs> and I'm gonna play devil's advocate. So, say LeBron played 30 games, uh -huh. they would destroy him. If KD, if KD, if KD played 30 games, they would destroy him because it's Kawhi. He's quiet. Oh, it's load management. He's eventually gonna come back. But if it was anybody else, oh, they would kill him in the media. Oh yeah. Why? Why would him? Like I, I don't understand. That is doing is doing Paul George a disservice. Is doing his Clipper squad because everybody was picking this Clipper squad to actually mm -hmm. win the championship. And to be honest, mm -hmm. I don't know. Like to be honest, I really because what I read was he's supposed to play tonight. But mm -hmm. it's almost like every night is like Let's okay, see. play tonight. Is it is 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 he gonna play this night? Is he gonna play this night? So it's almost like. It's always the up and down. It's like, what? What is it? And it, it should yeah. be. Is and I hate to go back to to the nineties. I remember MJ played every game. I don't care if they was playing the worst team or the best team. MJ was on that court. And I get this whole low management thing, but at the same time. Low, man, he can get hurt when he's playing. So, what's the point of holding him out unless it's something more? Yeah, and don't get me wrong, he's a good player. I don't think he's better than Giannis, I don't think he's better than KD. Mm -mm. I just I think he's doing the Clippers team a disservice. Like, if they lose, if they don't do nothing this year, they got the they got to open that up. They got to bring that up. Like, dude, what is it? Like, are you with us? Are you are you playing? Like, it's, it's, it's you got to you got to you got to bring that up. I'm sorry. Would you would you oh, move, would you move him, JB? That help. Would you move him? He's only 31, bro. Would I, move? Again, I don't think any, I don't think I don't think any team wants somebody that's not available. I, exactly. So it's I'm, I mean. Brooklyn took Ben Simmons, so you never know. <laughs> yeah, so, but true, but Ben Simmons is only, what, 24, 25 years old. 
True, but you Kawhi guys. Is 31, and Kawhi didn't probably played in probably, you know what I'm saying? But a you got three championships and stuff, so they're going to look at that too. So, yeah. I, would I trade them? If I got some pieces that will help, yes. But I don't I don't see them trading them. I think the the owner loves this team. If mm-hmm. you put I mean, when everybody is healthy, this is probably the best team in the West. For sure. It's just it's deep. Deep, very deep. And I love John Wall coming off the bench, even though I would love to see mm-hmm. him in that lineup. But coming off the bench definitely helps. It's almost giving me that D Rose type of vibe in, in uh New York. We're so, going to talk about that, too, because they doing D-Rose bogus over there in New York, my guy. My man got to go to a championship. I, I thought I thought Tibbs and D-Rose was like this, man. Tibbs over there on that iffy stuff right now, man. I'm not a Tibbs fan, so. Me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, we got to talk about that. So, as of right now, JB, Brooklyn is down by three to to Portland. Portland's okay. another soccer team this year, too. Yes, and Utah. For sure. The way Grant is hooping right now, Grant Lord and uh, what's the, marketing what's might the be other a... light-skinned dude? Lord oh, Market. Yeah. Oh, hell oh, yeah. If they keep For it up, sure. they might have to throw him in there. For sure. I think I think Shea going to make it, too. Um, Shea is going to make it for sure. That's He's so tough. Twitter. I just saw this on Twitter, so it was like, uh, you got Steph, John Morant, Luca, Dame, um, Shea, and someone else. But they was like, um, De'Aaron Fox should be in there as well. For what, All-Star? All-Star. And I was actually thinking it, he might be over Shea just, just because they win it. Who? Just Who? because they Fox over Shea. I'm just saying, just just because they went. I'm just I saying. I ain't with that. I ain't with that, man. I think they want them teams. They doing good right now, but they gonna hit that. Of course, but I, the Clippers should be kicking themselves uh, for trading that kid. He is a problem. Man, oh, okay, so better give him Sacramento all the money. <laughs> <laughs> They actually uh they beating San Antonio right now, but that ain't no surprise. I mean San Antonio, but I'm dug it playing right uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, so the Clippers are winning five to four right now with Detroit. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they win that game. Kawhi actually started tonight too. So Kawhi is actually in the starting lineup. Okay, so yeah. Actually- from the Yeah. Over okay. one from the field right now, over two from the free throw line already. Kawhi is over two from the free throw line right now. He's usually a good free throw shooter. Okay. Yeah, so I think he's, you know what I mean. He's probably trying to get the feel for the game back. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, sure. Man, JB, so if you go to state right now, go to state is not looking good right now either. Do you? I think it's ever since that whole Draymond and, and Jordan Poole situation, I think everything kind of went. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Do you do you move Draymond? Um, do you, I mean, I know he's a valuable part to their team. He's, you know what I mean? Their anchor of they, of their whole team. Do you move him? Do you start to move forward from that? You know what I mean? Clay's not looking good either. Jordan Poole is killing it. You got a bunch of young guys, you know, Wiggins and Kaminga and Moody, you know what I mean? And Looney, they're really stepping up into their role. Do you think it's time to move on from not Draymond and Clay right now? But I mm-hmm. definitely think maybe move on from either one right now. You know what I'm saying? Because I think he just said it. It's a long season, bro. Oh my God, Zach. Yeah, what up, Brody? It's a long season, bro. and and that's true. Um, do I trade Draymond? No. Well, Clay, is do you have to make a move, or is it just like I know it's a long season, but mm-hmm. it's just like you know every team is going to be out for you because you the the reigning champs, you know what I'm saying? Everybody trying to destroy you every time, but I don't think trading him helps because you're not going to get anything as viable or to help your team, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, are they struggling? Yes. But, like, a, it's a long season. I mean, 
They and and I I just saw this. I was actually watching that that Golden State and Phoenix game uh, last mm-hmm. night. Announcer said Clay Thompson always has these slow starts and picks it up in January, February, and March. So yeah, I mean, is it a tough? Pa- I mean, to lose every road game that sucks. But again, it's it's, it's, it's it's it's. It's, it's, the season just started. I think every – the chemistry is not there. I think what happened, you know, at practice still is lingering on them, in my mm-hmm. opinion. They, they they don't want to admit it. I think it still is. So, I think with with that and I think with Clay still struggling, I think that's, that's a part of it. So, like I said, and, and then James Wiseman is not playing as a, you know, a lottery pick. I think it's going to take some time for them. I still think they're going to be in the playoffs. Uh, I don't. I mean, would they be a top seed? Could be if they they pull it together. But it's a long season, bro. Uh, I don't think trading Draymond is going to make the make it make that team better. Uh, I think. Um, I think, like I said, I think it's just. They need to get their they, they defense. Their defense is horrible this year. I think they 27th this year. And that's <clears throat> they, they calling card, bro. It's like, for real. Like, even though they they great shooters, their defense is what makes them, you know, that team. So, trade Draymond. I know you want him to go to the Lakers. It's not going to happen. So, Stop it. <laughs> and then you see they send Wiseman down to the G League, man. I thought I think Wiseman is a big part of their defense, man. I don't know what that was about. I don't know if he's – I know he did come back from an injury. He was going for an injury for a while. So I wonder if he's really trying to get back into that groove of the game. But I think right. when Wiseman's out there, he makes a major, major effect on the game, hands down. And I look at – I think they – as – you know, when you draft someone in a lottery, you want them to make an immediate impact. Yeah. And I think with him, he hasn't done that. And I thought with him, especially, you know, being a big, it would definitely help. But he hasn't turned out to what they want him to be. So I think maybe the G League will kind of, like, push him a little bit. Like, yo, I don't deserve to be here. Let me dominate. Then go back up here and show them, like, yo, I need to be here. So mm-hmm. maybe that's what I need it. So we'll see. Okay. Okay. Um. No, we kind of early, JB, but I'm gonna ask you right now for the last one. Who are your Ooh. predictions right now? Who are your Uh-oh. predictions? Who you got coming out the east and west? Do you think it's gonna be a? You said it's a long season. Do you think Golden State gonna turn it around? Do a part two? Do you think Milwaukee gonna make it back? You think Brooklyn gonna figure it out? You think LA gonna make some trades and make it happen? What you think <laughs> so far? I know we early. I know we early, but we're gonna make a bold prediction right now. Who you got? So before the season started, I'm like, yo. Brooklyn got everything. I'm like, yeah, they gonna be the team. Like, it's gonna be the Brooklyn or Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. But the way they look, I'm like, man, I don't know. Um, I think Milwaukee is gonna come out the East again. I think they gonna they gonna end up beating Boston. I think it's gonna be Boston mm-hmm. and Milwaukee conference finals. Okay. Uh, I think it's gonna be Milwaukee and Golden State. I think Golden State gonna put it. They gonna they gonna fix. It's going to be Golden State, yeah. Milwaukee. I'm not yeah. mad at that. I think I might go um, – damn, who is my team from the West? Oh, I had Milwaukee and the Clippers, man. I had Milwaukee bro. and the Clippers with, with this Kawhi thing, man. I don't know, bro. Exactly. You never know. So, it's like, is he going to play? Like, I really be looking on Bleacher Report, and they like, oh, day to day. He out. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know, bro. Like, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared for to sure. put money on them, man. For sure, for sure. Well, uh, my guy, JB, thank you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you. Always, Y'all, bro. It's my, it's my new host, JB. He's tapping <laughs> in with me sometimes when he's free. Yes, um, sir. You know, y'all watching, man, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You know, we on Spotify, Apple, Google, all that. You know, go go subscribe, follow. Um, JB, appreciate you, my guy. <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, I'm going to shoot you a text, bro. We're going to figure something out for maybe uh, whenever you're free for the next one. For sure. Lakers ain't making the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs>
Alright, bro. Alright, bro. <laughs>